that whole situation with uh, with the wild card. Dallas was in the driver's seat coming in as they played host to Ja and the Memphis Grizzlies. And this was a wild game. Derek Lively. In your face. Luca stepping back. And Luca again. Tough shot though. He makes those though. Yeah. Ja Morant. Oh, by watching watching SGA and Ja in back-to-back -back highlights, man, that is a treat. Now watch him here. Oh, oh. We're tough in that area. Right? Ooh, ooh. Dallas was up three ooh, oh, at four, the four, half, four. but then in That's the third feet quarter, work, the yeah, say. Morant and and the Grizzlies take the lead. In fact, they would lead 101 to 86. 101 to 86. Yeah. Well, give me some. And then it was a 35 to 15 run by the Mavs. Hitting crucial threes. Spencer Dinwiddie hit that one. PJ Washington, no hesitation. When the Mavs making threes, they tough to beat. I told you, PJ. I know the the the, the Grizz were complaining because the Mavs shot 30 free throws in the second in the fourth quarter. Second half. 121 to 116. That's the first win the Mavs have had this season when they trailed going to the fourth quarter. They had been 0 and 8, and it came at the perfect time for this one because it gives them the uh, wild card in the West. Uh, here's the way it shakes out in the Western Conference. Oklahoma City with a plus 45 point differential. So at 3 and 1, they're number one. They will host the Dallas Mavericks. Houston, number two. Golden State looked to be on their way to going 4 0, but they're 3 and 1 in that plus 8 point differential. They are the number three seed, so they'll have to go to Houston. And that Dallas advantage over Phoenix, 16 in the uh, point differential. And so there you have uh, the matchups, too. OKC, uh, number one seed. Houston, I mean, Dallas going to OKC and Golden State having to go to Houston. Well, I'm curious about the uh, Golden State Houston. That's going to be because Houston's playing well. Emmy Udoka's doing a fabulous job. OKC is the best team in the NBA, in my opinion. They're the best team in the NBA. Better they, than Boston. Yes. I think the depth that they have, and, I, and Boston's Boston, the best. 17 and 4, right? Boston's now. the best team in the East. OKC is the best team in the West, but I'm telling you, I, lo I would love to see OKC get healthy because Hardenstein, he hasn't missed a beat. He's had a double-double at every – I mean, good double-doubles, like 18 and 14. So, he got – when, when Chad Hogan come back, they're going to be able to play big. And when they get Alex Caruso when I, they're on, I, a, on yeah, a regular yeah. basis. Yes, yeah. they're going to be able to play big. They're going to be able to play small. They're going to have depth. So – I'm, I can't wait to see how this team finishes up. I, I Best like, team in the NBA, OKC? No, Boston right now, then Cleveland, then OKC. I like uh, OKC is definitely playing well. They're definitely going to win that game. But I like Golden State versus Houston. Big moments, you know, I'm always going with, you know, Steph Curry and the boys, big moments. You're up. I would have to agree with Shaq. I would go Boston, Cleveland, OKC. Just in terms of the consistency of style of play. Uh, you know, I, I think OKC is still implementing guys into their, their rotation. So th I think at the time they have a couple of lapses. Um, but Cleveland and, and, and Boston are consistent in what they do. And uh, they have been. And I think Cleveland just doesn't get a, a, lot, a lot of credit because we haven't seen them do it in the playoffs yet. We haven't seen them play this way in a playoff setting. Uh, against a formidable opponent over seven games. And that, that, that's it. But if, if they had that experience, we would we would be talking about them being in the Eastern Conference Finals easily. Two good Western Conference games right there next week with the winners of those two games moving on to Las Vegas uh, and a, still a chance to claim the Emirates NBA Cup. Still to come, more highlights. Uh, Shaq has done more times in the TNT <laughs> studio than he did in his entire <laughs> yeah, Hunter, career. Like Come on, Hunter. Like Stop coming in hot like that. What's I know, wrong? Hunter. Your mother used to call me for tickets all the time. Oh, <laughs> his mother called you for tickets. Yeah. Hey, Hunter, how's it?
He's very sensitive yeah. about it. Remember a few years ago when every line out of his mouth had something to do with somebody's mouth? Did you give her two yeah. tickets or three? No, she got four. She's like the number of rings I got. Oh, okay. You got oh, four, four tickets. About that, would you, Chuck? You got a line for everything.